Thank you for watching this video from Kingsway Soft. Today, I will be introducing the SSIS Integration Toolkit for Microsoft Dynamics GP. The SSIS Integration Toolkit for Microsoft Dynamics GP is a cost-effective, easy-to-use, and high-performance data integration solution using Microsoft SQL Server Integration Services SSIS capabilities. In today's demo, we will show you our software writing in a SQL Server 2012 environment. If you are using a different SQL Server version, the interface might be slightly different. To get started, let's create a simple SSIS project. This tutorial assumes you already have the SSIS bits installed, otherwise you will not see the SSIS project type here. In the Business Intelligence template, select the Integration Services project and give your project a name. Press OK to create the solution. SSIS is a platform that can be used to implement data migration and application integration using drag and drop features. To begin the SSIS implementation using our toolkit, we will configure the Connection Manager to facilitate the connection to the Microsoft Dynamics GP server. Let's start by right-clicking the Connection Manager area below and select the New Connection option. Select Dynamics GP and press Add. If you do not see this option, go back and make sure that our software is properly installed on your machine. The Server Name field allows you to specify the SQL Server address where Dynamics GP database is located. Next, you can enter your authentication details starting with username and password. The Initial Catalog field allows you to select the database catalog where Dynamics GP is located. The Error Codes catalog is used by the GP destination component to report the description of GP error codes. This should be the database catalog to GP's main catalog, usually Dynamics. Note that this is an optional field. If no value is provided, GP errors will be reported as integer values without further explanations. Lastly, you can specify a Dynamics GP version to load a different set of Dynamics GP schema to be used in GP source and destination components. We'll test the connection to verify we are connecting to the specified GP server. The next step is to use the data flow task to demonstrate the GP source component. If you are using SSIS 2012 or later, you should automatically see these data flow components in the toolbox of the data flow view. If you do not see any components, you can click the SSIS Toolbox button. Note that if you are using SSIS 2008 R2 or earlier, you would need to manually add these components to the SSIS Data Flow Toolbox. In the SSIS Toolbox, you will see the components from our SSIS Toolkit. The GP Source components can be used to read data from the Dynamics GP Server, while the GP Destination component can be used to write data to the GP server. The GP Next Document Number Generator component is used to help you generate the next sequential ID number for given records that do not have automatic ID number generation. For example, you can use this component to generate an ID for a new sales order transaction. Let's start with the GP source by dragging the GP source component to the surface of the data flow. Double click the GP source component to bring up its editor form. Here we will first specify the connection manager. Next, we can select the source type to retrieve data. There are two options available, object or from a custom SQL query. If the SQL query option is selected, a SQL query editor is shown, which allows you to write custom SQL queries. You can also insert SSIS variables into your custom query. For our example today, we will select Object as our source type, which will enable the drop-down menu for Source Object Options. If we navigate to the Columns page, the fields displayed are all the fields for that particular GP object or table. Notice that we have a Refresh Component button to refresh the component to the defined GP metadata. We're going to click the OK button to finish the configuration of the source component. 
For this demonstration, we're going to add a dummy data reader destination component for the purpose of showing you how the data flows from the source to destination component. Now we can execute this task. We will now demonstrate the GP destination component as well as the GP next document number generator component. As mentioned before, the GP next document number generator component is used to help you generate the next sequential ID number for given records that do not have automatic ID number generation. For example, we can use this component to generate an ID for a new sales order transaction. The GP destination component can be used to write data to the GP server. For my source data, I will use the data spawner component to quickly generate some sample data to work with. The data spawner component is part of the SSIS productivity pack, which is a collection of premium SSIS components to enable greater developer productivity. Now we will connect to the GP next document number generator component and choose our connection manager. The next doc number output column is the name for the output column to create in the output buffer of the next doc number SSIS component. The resulting output column can be used in the mapping of downstream components and will contain the ID that you wish to generate. Next, we can specify the document transaction type as well as the transaction type below. For some document transaction types, a doc ID may be required. One such document transaction type is a sales order processing transaction that we have selected in today's example. Let's give it a value and click OK to finish configuring this component. Now let's drag the GP destination component from the toolbox onto the design surface and connect the upstream pipeline component to the GP destination component. We'll select the GP Connection Manager. Next, you can specify how the data should be written to the Microsoft Dynamics GP server. There are four write actions available from the dropdown. Create, Update, Delete, and Void. In our example today, we will choose the Create action. The Destination Object option allows you to specify which GP object to write data to. A drop-down menu with available objects are listed here. Let's navigate to the Columns page where you can map the columns from upstream components to GP field for the destination object. We can see that the input column from the upstream component is automatically mapped to the destination GP field based on a name match. By clicking the Refresh Component button, the component will retrieve the latest metadata defined in the GP stored procedure XML schema file and update each field. After clicking this button, you will receive a status message indicating how many fields have been updated, added, or deleted. The last page is the error handling page where there are three error handling mechanisms to choose from. The default option is to fail an error where the entire data flow will fail as soon as an error occurs. There is also the redirect rows to error output where the error output will contain the failed records with extra columns, error code, error column, and error message. These three error columns can usually help you identify why the error occurred. The ignore error option is generally not recommended. Let's click OK to finish configuring this component. We have now completed the configuration for our data flow task. We can execute this task. This concludes a demonstration of our SSIS integration toolkit for Microsoft Dynamics GP components. Thank you for watching this video. For any further assistance, please feel free to contact us.